Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this main engine uh, and the main engine uh, Nagara particle effect that you see here in this ship. So when we are going in hyperspeed, this uh, tail length changes, it actually increases and once we return to normal speed, it gets shorter like this. So this is what we are going to work on today. This uh, particle for the main engine and the main engine blueprints. All right. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 1,800 video. For each video, project file is accessible once you become a member. You can download anything without a limit. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so now in this system, as you can see here, I can uh, fly around in this space, but I don't have a suitable engine particle that represents its uh, thrusting or main engines so that's what i'm going to work on today so now here we can actually do high speed travel as well but still we don't have enough uh, display of power so let me first open my spaceship Blueprint. Now here I have already implemented these hovering engines. They actually have a particle effect. Let me show you. If I press T, you can see that particle effect in action. But I want a major. These are my main engines. These two, and I need a bigger effect for in these two places. So. Let's first implement the particle effect and actually uh, let's start from scratch. I'll use new system from selected emitters and I will choose this functor plus finish ns main engine. Let me open it. So this is what we get, but this is not exactly what we need. First, I'll Disable gravity force. I don't need gravity force and also I don't need drag and what else? Yeah, and here a Sprite render instead of this Default sprite material. I'm gonna use I think I have created a duplicate of Here for the jetpack we use uh, we duplicated this default ribbon material which is nothing this it's just this simple material so let me select that for the main engine so we can have these square shaped objects now I'll align it to the velocity so it will be facing the velocity now you see here the fate is here and this it this part is this end is transparent this end is not so I need to revert that so actually that comes from here so let me remove it now it's correct okay and uh, I want the particle to go in X direction therefore instead of this in cone velocity I'll make it linear velocity along X direction like this and this should be much uh, is it there should not be any thing because now this is not fast enough so let's add a multiplier like this okay and now this is not finished let me just add this into our shape and preview along with the shape so that i can get an idea how it looks there is C. okay right I'll place it in the middle of the engine like this so in the middle yeah okay 
now this is how it looks now we can start modifying this particle effect so first thing is let's change the lifetime maybe something in between 0.4 and 0.8 so it will not be as long as it used to be okay now we can set the size so here not a uniform i'll choose non-uniform this should be right okay okay but it has to emit from this whole area not just here so instead of this sphere i'll choose box play and to match these dimensions maybe B, let's use uh, well in x direction we don't really need much of a size and this y i think 500 let's see yeah i think that covers the whole area and z uh, maybe 150 okay now yeah now i think it covers the whole area um okay now this scale this is not really enough so let's try something like this multiply vector 2d by okay 3 we had before 3 by 70 now let me make this point 3 by 7 and let's make this 100 all right now we have something that is large enough okay okay i tried 300 uh now we are getting there let's increase the spawn rate something like this now we have a more consistent flame like effect yeah this is starting to look good now we can start working on the color so let me change this back to 200 100. 100 is not good 200 is good yeah all right now what's for the colors uh let me disable this and uh, the color color module and here color from curve okay and let's choose a blue color like this and make it more luminous right this is the color and maybe it could be a little bit more transparent okay this should not be white more blue right okay i like the way it looks let's see yeah so when we are going in the slow mode, uh, not going in the hyper speed, I don't think it's we should have this long of a tail. So, but for the hyper speed, this tail is good. But when we are slow, when we have slowed down, maybe we should reduce the power. So for that here if i reduce the life's lifetime it becomes shorter okay. like this and also i can change this length here okay that's too much but let me keep it as 10 no 7 is good okay let's define a uh, new user parameter float i'll call it part curve max life let me copy that so it was by default it should be 0.8 so if i reduce this this becomes shorter if i increase this this becomes longer okay by default i'll keep it maybe 0.5 no actually i want to bind it here instead of this i'll use user dot this user particle max life now if i press this you see it affects so we can control this value from our blueprint so that's why i set up this now i think instead of 
duplicating this article let's create another blueprint mem ninja so that i can use it and add this niagara system into that and i can add two of them into my drop into the spaceship like this and now delete the main uh, Nagara parameter and it's rotated so oh it's in the wrong location let me undo so this is now under main engine Nagara param uh, object let me set zero this location and rotation then move it under the mesh okay now it's in the correct position and pp main engine this is right let me duplicate pp main engine l so here should be like this okay great now let's see okay now it looks good let me travel fast all right now inside the engine main engine i'll set up a uh, function date uh niagara no it particle length input length it should be a float and by default i'll make 0.5 and here I clamp it in between point uh, zero no point one and and then get the main engine Niagara set Niagara variable flow. So the value I had is user dot particle max life this is the parameter that we need to control okay now when i go to the hyperspeed i'm going to increase this to one and when i go back i'm going to set this to 0.5 so to do that here in this spaceship i need a reference to the engine blueprint so here I can get child actor and cast to pp main engine. Let me collapse this main engine. Initialize main engine. And then let's promote this to a variable. Do we need an array or we have should we have two variables? Maybe just a variable. Main engine and I need to do the same thing to this let's have a sequence here to make things look simpler main engine L main engine R draw more to variable here right now here when we go into the hyperspeed with H if we are going into the hyperspeed we can do this let me get some space before this step get the engines set particle length can I connect both I'll set it to 1 
here I can connect both and let me copy this so once we done with the hyperspeed travel that means here I'll set it back to 0.5 right now let's see okay this is 0.5 now here and we see tail length increases and yeah now it's back to the normal length all right That's actually all I wanted to do in this episode. Okay, great. So thanks for watching. I will continue to work on this project in future episodes as well. So still I have to maybe when the characters when the ship is not moving, I should completely turn off or maybe further reduce the length of the effect so that it represents the actual speed of the ship so i need to do such changes still so yeah let's see let's look into that in future episodes and again don't forget to like and subscribe updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and see you in another episode goodbye